Hi, today we are going to create a Microsoft SQL Server 2016 database table. So I'm going to navigate to my management studio. I'm using 17.2. We will also be applying various types of indexes and I'll show you that. I'm going to connect to the database server. From here, I'm going to expand my databases. I have two different ones. We are going to go with the organic program. And here I have my tables expanded, your, ta your database. And you will see tables, views, so now I'm going to right click on tables and then go to new table. And from here, we're going to create, we're going to do a customer table. So we'll call it customer ID. And in the data type, will be big int. You could use int is smaller, big int is larger. Big int is a 64, and 32 is the int. And that's in bytes of how much information it can hold. It's a number of digits. So next I'm going to have a varchar in varchar. And it's going to be uh, say first name. And we'll do in varchar. And we'll say 150. Next we'll have last name. And we'll do another in varchar of 150. And we will have a um, let's say a image. So this will be nice to have. So you have an image of the customer. So we'll call it customer image or you could call it image so we'll call it uh, this will be data type I'm not sure so what we'll do is we'll expand the drop down and we could use ah here it is var binary you'll notice that there's different types of like here you could use image or you could use the var, var binary so this is going to store varying length binary code so this will store images and this is the appropriate one to use for the the newer uh, databases they recommend var binary image was an older version and I believe image uh, stores it as a uh, binary large object with a reference pointer and this one stores it as actual binary code within it, the actual table itself um, due to the optimizations I believe in SQL Server this was the faster one to, to, to use the more optimized version to use the newest version they have so next we want to create a uh, an index so we're going to create a primary key uh, we created that the primary key uh, next we need to go ahead and set the identity here we can go here and expand now what this is going to do is going to make that primary key uh, a self-generated key so you don't have to go and you know so customer ID would be one the first insert into the database and the customer table will be one the second insert will be two so this automatically uh, creates that incremental indexing 
on the customer ID so you would only insert into first name, last name, and an image. So we'll we'll do an example of one here in a minute. So we created the table. We'll call it customer. Just go ahead and hit Control S or uh you can hit save. You hit save and then it should ask you what do you want to name the table? And we'll just say customer. So now uh let's go ahead and see if the customer table works. So I'm gonna just do a new query. And this should open a new tab. So we still have our old tab. This has the the table that we are creating. This is the identity increment also. You could actually change this. And the seed value is the, the value that it starts at. So we could say start at 1000. And if I hit control S, it's not going to let you do it. Because we've already saved it, you'll have to re-script it all out. Or drop the table and recreate it. But this is how you would set it if you want the initial value to be start at 1000 and an increment by 1. So the first one that you would create in the database of customer table would be 1001. So we'll just go ahead and do an insert right now. So insert into customer table and then what fields do we want first name and last name and then you do the values so you you'd put in uh, the value and then you would run this. So we'll execute it. You could hit F5 or execute. And there we go. One row affected. So that means it inserted. So we'll run a select statement on the table. Select everything from customer table and you're gonna have to highlight it if you if you were to execute this again it will insert and then run the select statement so we'll execute just this line of code here by highlighting it so you can see here the customer ID one uh, that's the first increment into the database and then uh, first name Dominic and the last name Spudo and an image uh, we passed over that one we didn't put any uh, image data in there so now what we want to do uh, is let's go ahead and change this to a different name let's say Scott Tiger this is a famous Oracle Username and password, Scott Tiger. I don't know if you're familiar with that one. I plan on doing some Oracle videos later. So, customer ID is now incremented from one to two. So, you can see if you insert another one, it's going to create a, a self generated ID. This is the primary key. So, you use this as a reference. Like, how do I find, uh, uh, if this database has a bunch of first names and last names, let's say we come across, there could be a possibility of there being more than one Dominic Spudo or more than one Scott Tiger that's in here. So if you want to to find a uh, an exact Dominic Spudo, you would want to do where customer ID equals one. And you're also using the primary key 
to find it that's what this is the customer ID customer ID is the primary key when you use it that's got a primary key index so if we refresh here in the customer table if I script this out script in a new window we'll be able to see this is the code that it generated from that the GUI window so when we did all this right here it actually scripted out this code here to create it so this primary key right here it's got an identity customer ID primary key here it is primary key on customer ID ascending order so uh, when you do a run a search and the database table has a, a key on it a primary key on the uh, in this case it's the customer ID and you do you run a search in the where clause when you run the search in the where clause it's going to access it a lot faster this creates uh, extra performance so anytime you have in the where clause uh, a, uh, a field that ha is being used and it has a uh, primary key or an index created on it then it's going to run a lot faster so customer ID equals one and first name equals Dominic Now this has a this has a primary key or an index on it. This one doesn't. So when it evaluates this it accesses it very quick and when it accesses this it's not going to be as quick because it doesn't have an index on it. So if we change this just slightly, you'll notice that it's evaluating both of these and customer ID 1 and first name equals Dominix. Uh, so that's basically uh, what I wanted to show you uh, today. Um, just remember whatever you highlight is the code that will be executed. Um, like, subscribe, uh, and I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. So enjoy. Uh, we're going to get you up and running into knowing databases and, uh, and then doing web programming and then Windows programming and then uh, probably doing uh, Android uh, applications. Uh, we're going to be doing this all together. So I'll have a lot of videos up. So enjoy. I'll, I'll talk to you next time.